Are you having a hard time drag clicking? Because your hands are so freaking sweaty, you could literally see it on the desk. And when you try to drag, you like barely get any CPS. Well, today, I'm gonna show you how to make sweat proof tape. Listen up. Basically, all you need is electrical tape, but this is a special electrical tape. Keep in mind that this electrical tape is not vinyl, and this has a little bit more of a rough surface than regular electrical tape. And you can kind of see a difference. This is vinyl electrical tape, and as you can see, it's like way shinier. But this one, it's a little bit more matte. I hope you guys can see the difference in these two. Anyway, get the matte electrical tape, and just put it on your bloody A70 or whatever mouse you want to use to make it grippy. But wait, there's a catch to it. When you're putting on the tape, for example, I'm gonna take a piece of tape from my electrical tape. I'm just gonna cut a good amount off, all right? Maybe not the full length of the mouse, but just a good length. And this is because when I put it on, I'm gonna put it starting on from the back, leaving a little bit of wiggle room, maybe around half a centimeter from the tip. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch the tape. Now, why do I stretch the tape and I put it on? When you stretch electrical tape, it has a little bit more grippier side to it. And that's the reason why I stretch it out first. However, you will notice that even if your hands are sweaty, stretched out electrical tape won't really help you for dry click. That's why I came up with two solutions and you could put them together in order to make the best dry click tape possible. Next up, what you're gonna need is just regular blue tape. And the reason why I use regular blue tape is because not for the texture, but for the adhesive that's used on the blue tape. You're gonna get the blue tape that you just got and instead of rubbing it down, you're just gonna lightly stick and unstick to it. Just keep on doing this for a while. This will make sure that all the oils on the electrical tape are gone and you have a really nice and clean surface for you to drag click on. Oh, well, you could already see a difference. If your A70 is making that sound, you already know you did something right. However, this is the problem with sweaty hands. You could get the adhesive on the tape, but once your hands get sweaty, it's just gonna wear off because obviously if you put something sticky and you have water, which is sweat to it, it's just gonna get slippery. And that's where I found the solution where Biometrix showed me. He told me to get hairspray. Like, you can literally use any time type. This is like $7 at a local Target store, and I didn't get it for my hair. I just got it for drag clicking. But anyway, just shake it up and put a little bit on your finger that you're going to use to drag. My pointer finger for this instance. And you're not going to put a lot, but just a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it, but I'm not going to make the whole thing wet. Only a little bit is needed. And basically, I'm just going to keep on rubbing it just rub the whole entire surface and leave it alone. You don't want to quickly dry it or anything and you're going to leave it alone for around 20 to maybe 30 seconds and the access hairspray on your finger, you're just going to pat it down with a thumb or anything. Basically what the hairspray does on your finger is that it pretty much blocks any sweat from like really like coming up, which is which sounds unhealthy, but it's just a finger like your body's going to survive. So let me quickly explain to you guys what the point of putting adhesive and then hairspray on top of it. Pretty much I figured out the adhesive stays on if you put a protective layer of coating on it, which is the hairspray. So basically it stays sticky, but the hairspray makes it so that it's in a way waterproof. And if you don't believe me, this is me dragging without tape. And this is me dragging with the tape that I just made. 